Hi, I'm Ola Alverson and I'm a co-founder of Sign Miami and Sign was actually created back in 95 in Stockholm and it was Europe's first digital business event where curious people came together to explore how the world would change and how we would live, work and play in the future. And last year we took it to Miami for the first time because we see the same zeitgeist uh, that we've seen in other cities becoming global tech hubs happening here right now in Miami. And it's a fantastic mix of curious people, uh, people moving to town, dreams and visions getting bigger, and a fantastic vibe. First, let's face the brutal facts. There are very few cities in the world that have created any kind of digital success that is global. Silicon Valley has done it time and time again. Some companies from New York, some companies from Berlin, lots of companies from Stockholm. I think Stockholm is number two in the world in global uh, digital success stories. And I think that in order to do so, you need to create an ecosystem and you need to create success stories that inspire people to, to think bigger, that attracts capital that wants to scale faster, that attracts people that want to take the jobs with these companies. So it's all pieces that need to be put together. And if you do that the right way, then magic can happen. Uh, but I think most cities dreaming that dream will be disappointed. I think Miami have a shot at the title. So my background, I actually was a world champion in kickboxer. So I'm used to taking risks and I'm used to sort of having footwork that works and get up on, you know, wake up and then change strategy within 10 seconds. Uh, so for me, it was natural to transcend into technology. I've started 22 companies to date. Most of them are around. I failed miserably, miserably with a couple of them as well. Um, and I think that the, the curiousness to see if it works and the passion to actually create something that wasn't there before has always been the driver for me. And I see a lot of uh, kindred spirits here in Miami. Now I think that the, the, the most thing about scaling something internationally is make sure it works in your home market. Make, sh make sure you don't scale something that is not ready to scale. Uh, we have created a company called Result 15 years ago that helps other people go international. And to date we've helped 300 companies go international. Many companies that you know have worked with us throughout the years. So uh, make sure it works somewhere and then build an international company. You can't have all Germans thinking about the German market speaking in Germany and saying that you're an international company. So you need to create diversity in management teams and boards and you really need to have an international ambition. Just not try another market with your left hand but with the full force that made you successful in your home market. Uh, I mean you can be a very small team and you can have a very uh, brief business plan but you need to make the company work somewhere. If people aren't buying your products here in the US, they probably won't in Germany either. So international is not to save a non-performing local company, it's to take a very well-performing local company into new opportunities and new markets. And I think that it starts out with passion and an idea, and then it's a lot of iterations, a lot of listening, a lot of getting advice from smart people, and that then, through iterations, refines the product, and after a while, it will be an irresistible company uh, if you're lucky and good.